this is our second ministerial conference of this kind. And we have come here this year, 2023. Our team is going to be experience the fire of revival. The fire of revival. Experience the fire of revival. And I have come personally expectant, heavily expectant of the fire of God. Because we have been called to be ministers. And the fire of revival is what we need to carry home. Because we need to impact our territories and our generation. And as I had once recently, I had my spiritual father saying, such conferences, you never know what the Lord is doing. But you make sure you operate within what he wants. Because who knows, he could be raising one man or one woman who is going to turn the universe around. And I was envious. I said, oh my God, why can't that be me? And I'm suspecting someone here is yearning for that grace in this place. And I am persuaded that that thing that the Lord is about to do here, it is you. It is you. Every time God wants to touch a generation, he raises a man. Did you know that? Every time God wants to touch a generation, he raises a man. Because he packages the solutions of men in a man. Hallelujah. So if the cries of the Israelites is heard in heaven, God will raise a Moses. Hallelujah. And it could be that God is preparing a Moses in this place. God is preparing a Moses in you. So I want you to open your heart to the grace of God in this place. Be sure that you cannot interact with this grace and remain the same. I still want you to know that uh, he's a simple man, but a big grace. And we love that. A big grace. And I can attest it by my own life that the grace in this place is great. Yeah. Hallelujah. I am a product of this grace. I am a product of this grace. Not only just the grace of God, but I'm also the, the, the real life. Being alive today is a product of the grace of God in Apostle Peter Peter Morabe. When I was sinking, he stretched his hand and said, you shall not die. You shall live. You shall declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living.